The next one we are looking into the relative lowering of vapor pressure. We have learned that the vapor pressure of a solvent in solution is less than that of the pure solvent. Rolt established that the lowering of vapor pressure depends only on the concentration of the solid particles and it is independent of their identity. Here is the pure solvent and this is a solvent with solute and you are able to see the vapor pressure. So here is the chemical reaction, I am trying to check it out a graph between the rate and the time. So rate of evaporation and this is rate of condensation. So I am putting a chart between rate and time, you are able to see it here. Once if we start evaporation, so evaporating automatically, this is not balanced one. You are able to see it, once if it start evaporating automatically, this will go down. This shows at some rate the rate of condensation and the rate of evaporation meets at some point. You are able to see it here. You are able to see it is balancing, it is not balanced. So this is how the points of rate of condensation and points of evaporation will start moving out. Once if the temperature start increasing, automatically you are able to see the pressure start increasing. So this is how the rate of evaporation condensation is moving. So this typical experiment is done in the GTEC laboratory and a 3D of the experiment is shown here. You are able to see at particular, particular point you are able to see the rate of evaporation and rate of condensation means and it became a saturated point. So a dynamic equilibrium is established. Your relation between a vapor pressure of the solution, mole fraction and vapor pressure of the solvent is given here. P1 is equal to X1 P10. The reduction in the vapor pressure of the solvent is given as delta P1 is equal to P10 minus P1. So which is indicated as a P1O minus P10X1. So taking out the P10 out, you will be getting 1 minus X1. So delta P1 is equal to P10 into 1 minus X1. X2 which is nothing but equivalent to 1 by x1. So the equation 3 becomes delta p1 is equal to x2 into p10. In a solution containing several non-volatile solutes, the lowering of the vapor pressure depends on the sum of the mole fraction of different solutes. So delta p1 is equal to x2 into p10. Equation 4 can be rewritten as Delta P1 divided by P10 is equal to P10 minus P1 divided by P10 which is equal to X2. The expression on the left hand side of the equation is called or mentioned earlier is called as relative lowering of vapor pressure and it is equal to the mole fraction of the solute. So here is the equation I got. This can be rewritten as P10 minus P1 divided by P10 is equal to N2 divided by N1 plus N2. As you know, X2 is equal to N2 by N1 plus N2, our relative moles. N1 and N2 are the number of moles of the solvent and solute respectively.
So for dilute solution, N2 is really lesser than N1. So N2 can be negligible. We can remove N2 here. And it will become P10 minus P1 divided by P10 is equal to N2 by N1. It can be rewritten as a W into M1, which indicates W1 and W2 are the masses of M1 and M2 are the masses, and M1 to M2 are the molar 